In this tutorial, we'll consider uh, your image maps that you use for textures within your program. So Blender is so good with cycles rendering, and this, this area of here is, I'm only rendering this with 100 samples at the moment, but still it's nice and crisp and sharp and it looks really good. And it kind of, this texture map that I'm using down here is only approximately maybe 700 by 700. And you can see it kind of looks soft. Well, it's okay for in this case because the colors kind of balance it out and the softness kind of helps bring out the sharpness of this but uh, you'd be better off with even a higher resolution image map than that so let's go to see how I created this real quick and here's the actual image map that I used in here and this is within my uh, programming language that I created within C sharp I program also in C sharp and C++ in addition to Python and C, of course. And in this case, this is a vector-based image. I, I can actually write, I can actually draw to this program if I want, just like a, I can actually create this as a vector design, and then I can pick up my paint brushes, and I can just start painting in here as well. So I can kind of mix the best of vector and raster effects if I'd like. But the real advantage is that since vector, the way vector programs work is they're really, it's a series of commands that tell you what to do and that's what I'm doing over here I'm giving it an instructions so it's a series of instructions so then it's super easy for me just to scale the instructions up or to scale the bitmap to a much higher display even beyond the size of your visible display because you're even if you're running a high resolution monitor that's typically not big enough for a 2048 by 2048 texture map yet if I have enough memory in my computer I can allocate it uh, memory buffer, a graphic memory buffer that's big enough to accommodate this same command set and generate a much higher resolution uh, texture. And so that's exactly how I take advantage of things like that. So using vector-based graphics is super powerful. I happen to like uh, geometric designs and I also like fractal geometric designs and uh, they can make a big difference because fractal geometry is a powerful form of mathematics and it's pervasive throughout the world as far as the shapes of things it turns out fractal geometry is is rooted in a lot of things and so I tend to use those type of textures as image maps and they can make your scene look really cool and different so and now imagine if I had this resolution because this looks pretty high resolution on this display screen but if you imagine that being mapped on the here in high resolution, it makes a big difference. And I'll do that in a future tutorial. But that kind of gives you an idea if you're not familiar with the difference between vector and raster image programs. And um, okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.